Welcome again to our um, weekly Careers Bistro segment. My name is Esther Kamati and I'll be your host. Today in studio, I'm joined by a special guest. Her name is Dinalago Kapuka and she is from Dinapama Manufacturing. So Dinalago, how are you doing on this cold day? Oh my God. Um, I don't even know where to start because <laughs> it's windy, it's cold, it's just... Yeah, but I see you're geared up in your Dinapama jacket there. So you have nothing to worry about. The perks of working for a manufacturing company. <laughs> Speaking of which, please tell us about the work that you do at Dinapama. Uh, frankly, I'm, I'm everything that is needed mm. to in every day at work to just make everybody's life easier. Yeah. You know, managing the office. Um, I'm the managing director's um, executive assistant okay yes. sounds like a lot of work <laughs> it is but nothing i can handle of course mm. um so let me take you right to the topic of corporate social responsibility mm. um the company recently donated masks to farm schools in the commerce region tell us about the importance of corporate social responsibility for um, local companies mm. um let us um forget about pro uh, profit margins for a second Mm. Um, and think about the social issues that are facing us today in society. Mm -hmm. With uh, GBV, uh, suicide, alcohol and drug abuse, and what is facing us now, the protection of everybody else. Yeah. I mean, you have people who can afford to buy a mask, and you have people who cannot afford to buy a mask. I mean, they couldn't already afford to buy food. Mm -hmm. How can they afford to buy a mass to keep them safe to keep them safe which brings me to the <coughs> sorry to the to the say to the saying to the ubuntu saying by rene descartes that says i am because you are yeah so if you take care of society because you are running a business and this business is standing because of the society and if you don't if you don't give back then what Mm. So that's why um, businesses need um, to maintain that responsibility. It is your responsibility to give back yeah. and to serve the nation. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, and I think you've, you, you gave back in style. So tell us what inspired this beautiful design. As you can see, I'm also branded by Dina Palma right now. Well, <laughs> um, what inspired the design is just the Namibian beautiful face. Mm. Yes. Mm, that's gorgeous. Mm. Um, so on the topic of the COVID-19 pandemic, which you mentioned, I think mm. now the disaster risk component of a company is proving to be more and more essential. Mm. So tell us what disaster risk strategies has Dinapama put in place during this time <coughs> that worked for you? Well, um, Dinapama subjects its... Um, managers to top performance mm. this the first thing that any company can do is let um let their managers encourage teamwork and um teamwork and motivation mm -hmm. when you work together you get the job done but if everybody's pulling their own direction then you're moving away from the goal and Everybody, everybody has their own problems. Mm -hmm. And we come to work and we, we want to say, no, I'm leaving my problems at home, but are you really? So it, it's fine to, from time to time, to just motivate the person that no matter what is going on, mm -hmm. we are here now and we need to do this. We need to get this done in order to live a better life. Yeah. And also um, project um, focused leadership don't just um we have this thing of um our managing director he doesn't like to be called boss mm. because he's like i'm nobody's boss we are all here to work if you need me to move on a box of mass to the next person to put on the elastic i will do that so he leads in a way of show leading the way mm. not just telling you do this yeah so he's he an also yes yes yeah. so you need to project um focus you need to project to your people that hey this is what you need to do 
I will lead the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah. To speak about the manufacturing landscape in the country, which mm -hmm. is one of the many sectors that have been hit by the COVID-19 mm -hmm. um, pandemic, um, tell us what, what strategies has Dinapama put in place to make sure to, or to mitigate those impacts rather? Um, the fact that um, other industries are affected, mm -hmm. that in alone affect us even if it's not directly, we are indirectly um, affected because construction isn't what it used to be. Yeah. Schools, is, it, it's not the normal that we know. And even corporate companies, some have closed down and those were our daily clients. Mm -hmm. we, I never imagined I would have to worry about tomorrow because we had enough work, mm. but now Construction is not coming in. The schools have cut to just maybe track suits and masks and normal school uniforms because now it's also the cold weather. Mm. So now it's a, it's a point of changing the conversation. And um, by this, I mean, you need to understand what the buyer wants mm -hmm. and you need to attend to that need. So it's not the normal service provider I am selling everything because most of the things now are luxuries. Yeah. If I even consider like, if I'm a company and I consider maybe making a gold shirt, that might be a luxury. Mm. But because um, it's, the, it's cold, fine, we can make jackets. Mm -hmm. So we need to talk to our usual clients and be flexible enough to understand what they need yeah. and then take the conversation from there. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, um, sorry, um, innovation. Mm -hmm. You need, this is the time you need to use your head to think. It's not just the usual, the usual when you know, ah, an image might need what, what. Mm -hmm. Now you really need to engage the person and say, oh, hi, we usually do this for you, but what do you need now? Yeah. So it's no more assuming you need to really like engage the... And understanding that yeah, needs are of course changing. Is. Okay. So we're doing this interview a bit backwards, but can we go back to um, Dinapama in its entirety? Can you tell us a bit about the company? Um, what exactly do w they do there? What are your specialties and so forth? Um, sure. Um, we are custom manufacturers of... Um, all sort of clothes mm -hmm. and masks yes. now <laughs> and um and bags mm. yeah your school bags your travel bags your conference pouches mm. all that stuff and um we also do branding yeah that's uh embroidery and printing so what happens is our process what happens is let's say you have a design that you that you want you want to speak to your corporate identity mm. uh, you know the sense of belonging yeah. like me wearing this jacket i know you want it but i'm not gonna give it to you but <laughs> you know that <laughs> the, the the profound proud, proudness that this is dinapama i work at dinapama yeah and you know just to create your identity uh, around your daily life what you put on mm. so we give you that freedom to say I want to create something that only speaks to NMH. You know, we can all go to Mr. Price and to Pep and we can pick out a pair of jeans. Mm -hmm. We all look the same. There isn't really that sense of um, uniqueness. uniqueness. Mm. So when you wear this item, you know I have participated in the process of making this item. Mm. And you know, you feel proud. Okay. Like, like right now. Yes, I see you. <laughs> um, now, lastly, we like to give um, career motivation to whoever is um, watching. So mm. tell us um, what keeps you going in the career that you are in and what advice would you have for somebody else to, you know, keep bringing their A game when it comes to their career? Um, <coughs> I started uh, working at Dinapama in 2000 and, um 18 is it 18 yes mm. and no sorry 2017 
Mm -hmm. It's been three years now. Time flies. <laughs> yes. And I have learned so much. I wasn't the person I am today. And it takes perseverance and commitment and just, you gotta love what you do. Mm. You gotta know in the morning when I wake up, this is what I have to do. You, you can't wake up in the morning and then you're just, you're just going to work. Mm -hmm. And this is why every morning I try by all means to either be in the office, I start work at 8, officially. But every morning I'm in the office at either 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. or 7.30. So I just, I need to reflect and also go through my daily plan and know exactly what it is I have to do. Mm. Because what you do, Esther, might affect her job. Mm. If you don't do your job well, it might affect somebody else's job. And that in the, at the end of the day, it affects the business overall. Yeah. So what I can say is just, you need to be focused. You need to realize that you are in a big picture. Mm -hmm. And you're not alone. You are just contributing. So you need to contribute 150%. Mm. Not even 100%. Because nowadays 100% is not enough anymore. Yeah. I mean, look at the times we're in. If we're... Yeah, just don't slack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the words of Ndina Lawo, do not slack. Thank you so much for joining us on Careers Bistro. And thank you to everybody that has watched. If you still haven't grabbed yourself a copy, our Careers Hub is inserted in today's Namibian Sun, Republican and Algamanet Zeitung, where you'll find all your vacancies if you're looking for a job and career motivation like that shared by Dina Lawo. So thank you so much for joining us. Catch us again, same time, same place next week. <laughs>